Hello everybody again. It is Thursday and it is hot here in California. My air has been going non-stop and I like it inside much better than I do outside. I am not a sun worshiper at all, as you can tell from my fair skin. So today I wanted to bring you the new Mally kit I got one of the things I got on QVC that you saw on my counter in another video and I have some more Mally things coming uh, I did wear the Mally face defender cream foundation I did a tutorial kind of well I'm doing a review on it right now with putting this on with the brush I did not the foundation brush I didn't like it my Sigma kabuki brush by I would say four hours my face was streaked it it was just streaked and blotchy so today I'm gonna give it a chance because I really want this to work I'm going to try it with my beauty blender and as you can see my beauty blender is not dirty it is stained because sometimes after doing my makeup I'm in such a hurry I'll forget and then it sits there on my sponge and it stains and I need to order more of these you can get a really good deal of course on Amazon I buy a lot of my beauty blenders from there you can get two in a package and they're not cheap I mean they're not cheap no matter where you go but if you like a beauty blender I would get the real thing I have now I've never tried any of the others I know it cosmetics has their own beauty blender I have not tried but I've started with these and I'm gonna stick with these for now anyways so I am going to get started with you today this is what my Mally cosmetics came in and what it came with is I can't wait to try this it is the perfect prep primer glow and this is what it looks like inside oh I haven't even see I haven't used it yet so I have to try to get my nails. Don't do that at home. I just used my teeth. Please, children, don't do that at home. Okay. This is what it looks like. So we'll be using that today. That came in the kit. This lipstick came in the kit, and I reviewed this lipstick the other day. It was this color um, uh, I'm sorry starburst I don't have my glasses on as you can see I'm pretty blind without them so this is from the same line and this is a more neutral color called pearly girl I want to make sure I get that right for you so if you go to the store and you say I don't see no party girl <laughs> Well, uh-oh, it's not party girl, it's pearly girl. <laughs> Sorry. And this brush came. So this brush is used for this blush and highlighter. And I am very, very excited to try this out. Blush, highlighter. So that is what the kit came with and we're going to get started i've already moisturized my face with my murad all my murad stuff that i showed you yesterday i did get my night cream in today but i ordered a separate night cream so i didn't get my package of the four little products that comes in so i don't have my mally powder yet i did order mally powder for this foundation but i haven't got it yet so we will be using my rimmel stay matte because i just like it that much so let's get started i'm going to go ahead with come on camera either my eyes are blurry or this camera is blurring out okay so here is the murad it is again perfect prep primer glow and I, okay, this is like a kind of a consistency, would you call this? It's very creamy, and it's, it's not like the other primers that I use. Please, camera. It is creamy. So, oh, oh, wow. It's not, now this is one of your non-thick, 
primers. It's not thick at all. So if you don't like a thick primer, this would be perfect for you. Sorry about that. I noticed I had quite a bit of a shadow on this side. So I wanted to open up my um, shutters in the back to hopefully give you a better view of what was going on and I turned them up instead of down because I get all that sun coming on me. So let's continue with this glowing primer. It really feels good on the skin. Oh, I really like this on the skin. I just hope that it covers the problem areas that I still have because I told you that Murad is working miracles for me so we shall see okay so that is the perfecting primer no it's perfect prep primer glow so this is supposed to give you a glow I didn't get any instructions in this box on you know what is what and how to use what they're not even on the back so I mean I guess it's just you know you know what a primer does you know when to put it on and if you don't you go and look on YouTube <laughs> and they will tell you so I'm finding okay so now I'm going to take my Mally face defender BB cream foundation SPF 15 in fair and I'm going to take that on with a blender brush this time. And I'm with, with the Kabuki brush, the Sigma, I needed a lot. In my other video, I seem to be squeezing a lot onto that brush. Now, it could have been sinking into the brush. That's one reason I do not like a foundation brush. And I like a sponge better because it stays on the top. I don't know. But we are going to find out if the if the Beauty Blender makes a big impact on this foundation. There we go. So we're going to start. Get this all over where it needs to go. You know, I've heard nothing but good things about Mally products and I've watched her show on QVC and I've read the reviews on her makeup line on just about almost everything because I am a huge review reader. <laughs> I really am. I don't buy anything unless it has a good review on it. And if it has no reviews, then I wait for reviews to come out. I'm just very anal about that. So I just put a little bit more, just a tad more on the Beauty Blender. Uh, so that much that I showed you the first time on the Beauty Blender did cover my whole face. So I didn't need to add more to the other side of my face. And what a difference oh my gosh this made look at my skin now granted you can see some red right here but with your beauty blender you can just press that in and like I said before on the camera I don't know if it's just my camera I have a Canon Rebel T5 but like my bronzer and my blush always comes darker, comes out darker on this camera than in my, um, my mirror. So I, I'm not sure what that's about, but yeah. So anyways, so I, I also got in the mail, the Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Waterproof Concealer from IT Cosmetics. And the only reason I stick kind of with the IT Cosmetics a little bit, especially for, uh, I did not like the CC cream, okay? But then I realized that I got it in, it was glow or it was supposed to make your face glow. That looks great 
on girls that are a lot younger than me but as you age sometimes the glowing like I've tried Anastasia's glowing primer it doesn't turn out well for me at all and I look much older than I really am and nobody wants to look like that so I got this in light of course it's their lightest you can buy and it comes out like NARS even though NARS is in a dough a wand form this is in a tube but the consistency is a lot like NARS it's thick and so I'm just gonna kind of tap this I'm not gonna go overboard with it a tiny tiny bit gets you I don't know if you can see that tiny bit on my finger gets you a long way you don't need a lot of this and 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 so I didn't finish the reason I want to try to make this especially work is because it has collagen in it and I'm finding that my skin likes collagen and so my wrinkles do not like collagen and they are starting oh wow oh wow oh my gosh I really really like this a lot uh, my lines are concealed look at that it plumps up I have so many lines under my lower um, lash line oh my gosh ladies if you are if you I don't care how old you are anybody can get wrinkles anybody and I'm going to put it right here where my deep wrinkles are too and see if that'll puff it up. You know what? This may this possibly could be my my best friend for concealer. It's called Bye Bye Under Eye. And I I'm, I'm not sure how much I paid for it. I'll link it in the down bar. But if it stays on all day and covers my wrinkles like it is, this is my new love totally my new love okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take since I don't have a Mally bronzer and I, I think I ordered one I ordered so much stuff I'm gonna go ahead and just use my Tarte princess um, palette and I'm gonna go ahead and get my it my it cosmetics fan brush and I'm just gonna dip that in a little bit like this and just put this right under real lightly pat it under my cheeks see now that looks so dark and here it looks natural on me why can't the camera get the right maybe it's not the camera maybe it's the user huh I'm not uh, electronically inclined at all <laughs> As you can see I am not electronically electronics do not like me I just use them so let's see I want to take I'm good this is my new little uh, blender for my uh, bronzer so I'm just gonna take that and really lightly blend that in And on this side too you know what I'm gonna have to put this in because my hair is just if I look a little funny please don't don't laugh at me don't laugh at me it's hard to put makeup on when you have hair all in your face okay so I'm gonna put a little of that bronzer up here on my forehead not that I have a really big forehead, but it makes me look like a bronzed goddess, if you know what I mean. Because I'm not a bronzed goddess, I am a white snow white. Okay, on the sides of my nose, the tip of my nose, and then you want to put it under here down your neck to blend very well 
And since I have a round face, this helps shade my other chin down here because I'm not a small girl. Oh yes, and that is the way you do it with my favorite palette of all. The Tarte Princess palette. Love it. Okay, now I'm going to take my beautiful Mally. This is Pure Highlighter and Peak Diamond Blush. Now, I'm not too sure about this brush just because I like a big, fluffy... I like a big, fluffy blush brush. So, I'm not sure about this. We shall see though, right? See, I just like a big fluffy brush. Now the other side of the brush would probably be really good for like the highlighter. Now this is very subtle and it blends very, actually very well with my bronzer. Oh. You take your blush up the side so it looks like you've actually naturally blushed naturally it's radiating up your face <laughs> okay my tongue needs to stay in the mouth because that's just too much that's just why that makes me concentrate better, I don't know. So I have a little more on one side than the other. This does have a sheen to it. Um, just a little gold. So that's that. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the highlighter here and use the little white end of the Mally brush it came with. Okay. This is a very light highlighter. It's not something like you would find in, what am I trying to say? It is not something that you would find in like the pure highlighters. This is the afterglow. These are quite glowy. This is more, or your MAC highlighters. This is more of a subtle good for me. I told you before, I don't like a lot of glow to my skin. I do like to look healthy, but as for glow to my skin, I feel like it accentuates my age if I have too much of a glow. So this would be perfect for me. It's gold. It's, uh, you can see it right in here. And I think it's beautiful. It's a beautiful glow. How it would work on tanned skin, I don't know. This isn't like, I believe that they had two colors in this kit. And of course I picked the light kit, the light side. So when I give you the link below, you'll be able to see if you can choose between the colors. This is definitely for people with fair skin. And that is my cue right there because I totally have light skin. So I am using my Anastasia Auburn Brow, Bu Brow Wiz Brow Brush. And last night I gave a tutorial on the Tinkle Shavers and how I, I actually shave my eyebrows and my face I did last night. You know, that could make a huge difference too in your foundation. I don't know if any of you know that, but when you take the peach fuzz off your face, 
it makes a very nice flaw it's even more flawless and I feel that those tinkle yes they are called tinkle I did a review I just put it up today because last night I fell asleep I was so tired I'm sorry but they are the best and they're not regular shavers like I say in my in my review of them I've had them and been doing it for over a year and they do not make your your um, ah, facial hair come back thick it comes back the way it started when you first shaved your face it's still peach fuzz so and I like I said have been do using it for over a year and my when my facial hair comes back it comes back as peach fuzz now I wanted to show you where did I put my 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 little vanity here is so full of stuff here it is it's still in the box okay so I did purchase the Mally extra lift brow gel and yes I do have Anastasia's brow gel but I thought that I would try this and see how this does I haven't opened it it's just a clear brow gel clear brow gel and it brush looks the same as the Anastasia and I'm just gonna put a little bit on and we'll see how well my eyebrows are locked in today Okay, so that's that. Now, let's see. I am going to go ahead with my Rimmel Stay Matte and I'm going to take my Real Techniques powder brush and I'm just going to go over my face. I'm not going to do under my eyes because I find that if I do under my eyes, it accentuates my wrinkles. <laughs> so I'll do my nose and my forehead. Just make it as matte as it can be, which the makeup did a pretty good job at doing, and it's not a matte makeup. It's more or less a poreless defender. So that is that, and that's what my face makeup looks like. The, whoo, I'm going to put on the Pearly Girl Lips, uh, the Mally Lipstick. Let's see. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my e.l.f. if I can find it. Mm -hmm. e.l.f. where are you? Is this? Yes. My e.l.f. natural. Sorry. My e.l.f. natural. Um, ah. Lip liner. And I have two of these. I've almost gone through one of them. I love these just as I, as much as I love my Moxies from Bare Minerals. I wore this all day yesterday. And it stayed on my lips all day until dinner. And this is a problem I have found with some, since it's so hot here, I'm finding that my lip liners, some of them are breaking. Like crayon, they're not like crayons, they're super soft and, see? And it's, I think it's just, I don't know if it's, my house isn't that hot. I can't keep it hot because of my dogs. Oh. It's because I just went through this one. That one's gone. These are really good lip liners. I just want you to know that. Uh, I'll just go ahead and put my Urban Decay Naked over it.
Okay, so the Urban Decay in Naked, a very good dupe for it is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Lip Liner in Natural. I think it's natural. Natural. So if you like the Lip Liner Naked in Urban Decay, you can get a really close uh, lip liner to it with like three quarters of the cost through e.l.f. With e.l.f. Lip Liner. I just found that out now. That was kind of a kind of a freak then kind of thing. Okay, now I'm going to take my Pearly Girl in Mali. I'm not doing my eyes today because I don't have much to do today except my daughter's car has been fixed according to the dealership. So I need we need to go pick up her car and we need to have her tire put on because she ran into something and dented the side of her brand new car. Okay, so this obviously is a click, and here comes my little, uh, uh, put a little too much up there. This stuff, like I said in my tutorial, um, when I did the Mali for the uh, the other color, it is does tend to be sticky. But it could be too because I clicked it too much because I was talking to you and not paying attention to what I was doing, which is, you know, kind of normal for me. Uh, came out too much and it's not too bad I mean it is a little sticky but it's it's really not that bad okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna put on a little bit of mascara so I don't look kind of like my eyes are I don't know I look funny this way to me it's like everything's colored but my eyes so I'm just gonna put a little bit of the Mali volumizing mascara that I got the other day just a little. My hair is so fair, it doesn't even look like I have eyelashes. I mean, look at my other eye. Where are my eyelashes? <laughs> there is none. So my eyelashes are like, hey, hey, we're right here. Can you see us? We may not be very long, but we're here. So there's one eye. So my son started work today at 5.30 this morning. He comes home at 4. And he's so funny. We have not let him get his driver's license yet because he got a C on his report card. And in this house, there are no such thing as Cs, just As and Bs. And we told him if he didn't get any Cs on his report card, you know, if he got good grades and carried a high grade point average, because we know he can do it, that we would let him get his, go for his driver's license. Well, he got a C on his report card. So this summer, he is not going to be getting his driver's license. And, you know, he understands it. He, he, he totally understands it. There is a car for him in the driveway to drive when he is ready to drive, but it sits there because he can't drive it until he gets good grades. So this morning they had him drive a forklift. <laughs> I guess he was all over the place with it. My poor son, I tell you what, he is a character. I'm sure he's there having fun and when he gets home tonight he's going to crash because first of all he's not used to wearing steel toed boots, he's used to wearing light tennis shoes so his legs are probably going to hurt him. And so it's kind of nice because they had him work today and then they're going to have him work tomorrow and then 
he's supposed to be off Saturday so we'll see if that works but you know he's all into the money oh money money that I can buy you know I'm gonna take my family out to dinner and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and he's such I'm proud of all my kids my kids are so generous and giving and loving and they give and they don't they never expect to receive and that is one of the things that I wanted to instill in my kids because when I was growing up you give and you you give back you don't give and not you know give anything back if someone did a favor for you and my family you better darn well do what they wanted you to do when they needed you to do it next time so I didn't you know you know I mean parents make mistakes right I know I'm not a perfect parent I've made a lot of mistakes uh, raising my kids and I'm not done raising them yet but you know you do the best you can and that was one of the things one of my pet peeves and the other one was if you say you're gonna do something you better darn well do it you better not like my mom would always say I'm gonna take you to the movies tomorrow we have lunch and that would never happen so if I tell my kids are going to the movies or we're doing something I better have a really darn good reason of why we're not doing it because I have to do it. It's just something that is in me. It's one of my big, big pet peeves of parenting. I have to do it. And so I just put that little blurb in there about my family. So I hope he comes home and I know he's just going to flat out fall asleep. He's going to be so tired. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this Mally tutorial. I'm going to have so many more products coming. I have the new Tarte Found Sealer. Uh, I have the Tarte uh, highly, it's the High Performance Naturals Mira Kuja Miracle Foundation, or I'm sorry, Found Sealer, and it's supposed to be really good stuff too. So I have so much product on my on my um, vanity, and it see my husband comes home and he says, "Did you get more?" Well, just a little bit, but I'm getting a really big shipment next week. <laughs> That's why I have so much makeup. I need to liquidate. I really do. It's like my school books. I'm totally liquidating on Sunday. I told all the homeschoolers I know, just come on over and get what you need because I need to get rid of some of these books. My house is becoming overwhelming. My closets are just got books everywhere. So anyways, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up in the thumbs up section. And uh, subscribe to my video and share it if you will if you like my videos and I love you all so much and I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.